Jesus did warn that there are going to be a lot, miracle, a lot of miracles happening at the end. Dan will be right with you. A lot of miracles, but he said, beware that the false prophets are going to do great signs and wonders. So in the end time, the people doing the great signs and wonders that we hear about in Scripture are not his guys so much because we have enough for life in his word because he is the word and the word is life and this is a living word and that Bible, the New Testament and everything, wasn't available to pull it all together mm. to lead to him. So the signs and wonders are less important today than they were back then. Because if he had just showed up and said, I'm the Messiah, and had fancy words, hardly anybody would have listened to him, yeah. you know? Let, let's, Dan, how are you doing? Good, how are yourself? Good, where are you calling from? I'm calling from Gresham. Okay, cool. Yeah, that's the first time I've called. I've, I just come across you guys' uh, TV program. And I was watching, uh, and I, you know, I, I grew up as a Catholic, and uh, I even was an altar boy for a while. Went to church and all that. See, I don't go to church that much. Uh, I believe in Almighty God. And, uh, but of course, when I was going to Bible school as a young child, we, uh, we studied about God, and we, you know, they told us that God and Jesus were one and the same. You know, that He is, you know, Jesus came down. But, I mean, if, if we, if God was come down the way he is, we would, you know, it'd be so bright, it'd be, his light would be so bright that we couldn't be looking at him and all that, you know, and it'd be hard for us to comprehend his power. So he'd come down as, as a, a human, like us, and, and he made us, he made us through his, you know, uh, through his own likeness of Jesus. And every time I say Jesus, I bow my head because he is one and, and the same God, I believe. Well, when, when did you get saved, Dan? When did you come to the realization that he's the only way? You believe he is the only way to God, right, the Father? You, right. To me, I, uh, I, I've been, well, I, I just say saved. You know, I, 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 I struggle here and there, you know. And, and matter of fact, I, I did have a question. And sometimes I get mad at God, you know, and I shouldn't. Uh, and it's not his fault, you know. I, it's, it's me. And, and uh, I just don't know how to control myself sometimes. Uh, a while back, I got mad at him, you know, finances-wise. Uh, yeah, well, we, we understand that, you know, we're all human and we blow it, but as long, you know what you're supposed to do when you, when you sin, right? Yeah, you're supposed to pray. You just ask for his forgiveness. Yeah. And, and he, and he will, and just, yeah. you know, he knows you're trying, and <laughs> some of us are weak in certain areas, others are weak in other mm -hmm. areas. Was that the question you had, Dan? No, the question I had was, why does he, you know, like when you're down and out and stuff, when you're at the bottom of the, of the hole, you know, you can't get up no more, you're so, so down, why then does he, he uh, answer you? I mean, why, does, why doesn't he answer you before you get there? I mean, I, I, I've asked him for help a lot of times, and I don't think he ever listens to me, you know. Well, let me just, you're here, though. He must have helped you if you got this far. Oh, yeah. You know, I mean, I, like I said, I believe in Almighty God, and, and I, you know, and, uh, oh, you know, I mean, you always get that feeling every time, you, you know, he's, he's around and stuff. You, you know, you, you feel, it, it's a, a this feeling that you hard to describe. Well, you know, you know you. go ahead, Sean. I, I, I think that, you know, for myself, I go to that. I still get mad at God sometimes. And, and uh, when you say, why doesn't he answer wait, before you hit the ground? And, and my personal opinion is that because we're still wanting God to answer us, the, the, give us the answer that we want. You know, we don't want to go through this trial. <laughs> and sometimes we got to go down the road that we choose to go down. Like, he doesn't make us go down it. And then we hit bottom. And then we're ready to say, okay, God, you know, I'm trying, it's not working, please help me. And now we're willing to listen and do it his way. And I would encourage you, one great thing that made a huge change in my life is uh, it's called a daily Bible. It just has a maybe five minutes reading. It's got uh, every day in the year in it. And it's like, if you're faithful to go to him and read his word, he will talk to you. And then, you know, as you seek him, he'll start to meet you where you're at. And it, it, it's life changing. You know, it's like, uh, because if you're, you know, the Bible says, if you seek, you will find, you know, and that was, I, I loved the one thing I did like about the Catholic Church is they did tell us that Jesus was God. They could have left out all the Hail Marys and the other stuff, but they did give me that connection with God for when I was down and out and, you know, I was in drugs and all that and really hit the bottom. But um, the greatest thing that I got into was a, a, a one year Bible. And it's like about maybe five minutes a day to read it. And it's like when you're faithful to go to him, 
he will come to you, my friend, and he really can change things around. Because now instead of telling him what you would like him, him to do for you, it's like you start asking him, Lord, what do you want me to do? And that's a really blessed place to be in. Dan, we've got somebody hanging. Does that help you with that question? Yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know that's that's what that's the way I believe you know that your God and Jesus were one and the same, you know. And well, uh, they're different amen. persons that's, in the Godhead the I, and the Trinity. And we, that's a whole other question. We'll talk about that maybe later. But I want to get to Betty, who's holding from Minneapolis. She's our first long distance phone call, I think. Betty, how you doing? Hi. Hi. What what would you like to share with us? Oh, I was just watching your program here, and I, I appreciate it. I like it. The teaching, they are teaching directly from the Bible. Thank you. Thank you. I yeah. really like that, and I'm kind yeah. of following it here. We're Christians. That's the only place to get spiritual help from, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's not like a sound bite, you know. This is real teaching from the Bible here. Yes, it is. So how, I appreciate how did you, that. Out. How did you find out we were on the Internet? We just started that. Oh, no, it's not on the Internet. I'm watching you guys live on TV. TV. I thought you are from Minneapolis. Yes. Where are you watching TV at? In Bloomington. In, in Minnesota? Yes. Oh, in Bloomington, wow. Minnesota. We're on television in Minnesota? Yes. <laughs> well, maybe the Internet's connected somehow to your TV. I, that's the only way, unless God's doing something real interesting here, which, hey, that sounds good to me, but... <laughs> Anything else you want to share with us, Betty? No, I was just trying the number, and I said, I'm going to call them. As they say, when he said you guys were live, then I say I love, I like the way they're teaching it. We got the real teaching from the Bible, a little bit different, mm -hmm. and I appreciate that. And I just want to. Now, Betty, you, you you became a Christian sometime along the way. Yeah. Yeah. How, what happened to make you a Christian? Oh, there's a lot of things happening. Like I had a baby, I was sick, and I after praying for a long time, I got healed, and I started going to church. So you got to you got healed, and what happened? I started going to church. Church, I started going to yeah. church. church yeah. I see. Okay. So Neat. what is this? Here? Is this a church or just or just teaching? Or what is it? Do they have a place that you go to see the people, or what? We all go to different churches. We're just a bunch of brothers that got together to to share with people live why we believe that Jesus is the truth and the only way. Uh huh. But this, so this is not a church. Here. Uh, a church? No, I said why. He, they didn't, I mean, I'm looking at the people, this is not a church. You guys go to different, different churches? Yeah. yeah. But yeah, what he's preaching, I mean, what he's teaching here right now... Just it's Jesus, not like, we're, just we're, to have, have a relationship with Jesus. Yeah, we're, we're showing, yeah, I know he's talking about... Okay, we're showing uh, movie clips on the proof that Jesus existed that's outside of Christian... Uh, circles, and then we're talking about C.S. Lewis. We we'll probably have another clip coming up. Yeah, if, if we have if we have time, we've got and, another uh, person hanging on the line there. But um, yeah, we're just Christians who go. We're all born again, and that's the real family of God. Is not. I mean, the word church. The word church in Greek is ecclesia, and it it means those called out. It has nothing to do with a building or a denomination. There's a, an invisible church that God knows who is His own are. Who have been born again because if you're not born again Jesus said you can't go into the kingdom so there's this invisible church that only God knows who's born again we kind of can tend to know each other when we meet each other because we tend to see things the same way and we may differ on certain things but not on the essentials and so oh, okay. and that's the true church whether we go to different church buildings with different pastors that's less important does that make sense Betty Hmm, well, I'm not going to hold you up. Maybe next time when I call it, we better. Because it's kind of a little bit different. Um, how, how's it different? It's how, kind of a little bit cloudy, so let me let you go. I'm oh, not going to hold you up. Okay. It, it's a little bit cloudy. Other people are dead. Cloudy on the TV? Because, huh? It, what's cloudy? On the television or the sound? Or? No, no, no. What you're telling me is what I'm asking, I'm not getting through to you if you're not getting through to me. Oh, because, what? Like, Try okay, and ask say, again. This is, this is the Lutheran Church. This is the Baptist Church. So I was just asking, hey, what are, this thing he's preaching, do they have a place to go that you listen to them preaching or teaching or it's just on the air? No, we go to different, I go to a, a non-denominational church. You know what they are? Yeah, I, I do the same thing myself too. Okay, and I go to that kind of, Sean goes to a, 